Mike and Shree here in Rising Sun. Not only is it pitch black and very wet, it's also covered in fallen trees. Take a look at this tree right here. It was knocked over by the storm and fell right on top of this house on Willow Street. You can see the tree landed on the roof and part of the gutter came tumbling down. Neighbors tell me the homeowners were asleep when the storm toppled the tree over. Then they woke up to find it on the roof. The storm also blew apart the high school girls softball dugout, leaving it in ruins. Piles of debris, concrete blocks, the metal roof, signs, even softballs. Around town, fallen trees have covered up streets and sidewalks. There's no power either. Neighborhoods are pitch black. I would say the winds was probably 80 mile an hour. I mean, you couldn't see nothing outside. It was, uh, man, my wife went to the basement. That's the first time we've lived here nine years, and that's the first time we've ever had to go to the basement. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was the nastiest storm we've saw in, in nine years. And luckily, we're told the people who stay at this house were not injured, but obviously they're not staying here for the night. Reporting from Rising Sun, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. All right, thank goodness they were not inside that house at the time, Tammy, or it could have been a much different story. This was the other issue tonight, dangerous lightning causing some serious concerns. In fact, it is still lighting up the sky tonight in some areas. This video was actually sent to us by a viewer and shows one of the powerful strikes over Cold Spring, Kentucky tonight. But it was the large hail and strong wind that rocked so many of you. Yeah, WLWT News 5's Emily Wood joining us live now in Walton with a look at the damage there. Emily? Hey, Mike and Cherie, power remains out here in Walton, Kentucky, especially this section of which Richwood Road. Uh, this storm blew through heavy, heavy rains and wind coming through around 730, 8 o'clock tonight. People that we spoke with and the damage here is not as extensive as they thought it would be after seeing how heavy those winds that came through, but it knocked over a very tall light pole, about a two story light pole and partially pushed a semi off of its back wheels. The travel center here, gas stations and the restaurants in this area, especially this section of Richwood Road have all been shut down all around Walton tonight. Several power poles are down. Some are hanging on the lines themselves. Truck drivers that we spoke with actually stopped here at the travel center during the storm to get off of the road. One told us she was walking her dogs when she saw the sky start to turn. The first thing was it got dark, it started raining, and then the wind started blowing, and I actually started my truck up so I could turn the windshield wipers on, and then that's when it got real bad. The wind started blowing from left to right. You couldn't see anything, even with the windshield wipers on. I could not see nothing. All the trucks in front of me in the parking lot just disappeared. And then hail started hitting the truck, and it sounded like people were just throwing rocks. My truck was wrecking all back and forth, and I'm empty, so I was a little worried about that because I have no weight holding my truck down. So I did get a little scared, and then the power went out. And the power has remained out here in Walton, Kentucky. If you can see these lights behind me here, this section of Richwood Road just behind this semi truck here has been shut down since this storm hit. The fire department telling me tonight that a very large tree was knocked off from those heavy winds and fell on to some of the railroad tracks. They had to shut down this section of road where the railroad comes over it, and they expect this to remain closed for the next two to four hours. Reporting live in Walton, Kentucky, Emily Wood, WLWT. News 5.